the good in love I run a little song for you Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Fran Bo. So where we last left off, we finally became human again. And I had to cut it short right at this crazy bitch holding my dead cat in a knife saying everything is fine. So let's figure out what is actually fine. Everything is fine. Oh shit. It feels like heaven. Why are you- Leave Mr. Midnight alone! Is your head playing with you again? Can you see yourself in the mirror? I'm not you! I'm not! Let Mr. Midnight go! We kill the traitors because that's what he is, Fran. Don't you see? My kitty is not a traitor. He promised me to be by my side. He promised! As your mommy and daddy did, who promised to take good care of you? Wake up, Fran. You're surrounded by traitors. Leave me alone. Leave my friend alone. Jump, bitch. I'm the only one you have, Fran. I'm the only one who stays by your side. Now let's get rid of this traitor, eh? What do you say? Let's be happy. Let's be so very, very happy together. Ew, look at the chair. Uh. Go away, go away, that wasn't me. Oh, poor Fran. <gasps> poor little Fran! Uh, what was his voice again? Fran, what's wrong? Why are you crying? I'm crazy, sir. I'm totally crazy. The doctors were right. But you're not crazy. I'm very sorry that you feel that way. You should be happy now. You found the stones and you became a human and again. That is very great indeed. My dear, let me wipe those tears. They kind of have the same voice. I don't want to hurt you, my dear, and I feel like I am about to do it at any moment. You won't. I know that because you love me. Oh, shit. I got there who's talking confused. Yes, Kitty, I do love you very much. Bran, remember what I told you. If you love, you are alive. And that is the only thing that matters. You will always find the power to fight those monsters in you. Good god, I can't stop fidgeting. <laughs> now, let's go and open the gate so you can go home. Yes. Yes, let's do this. Hell yeah. Follow him. Follow him. Hi. Here we are. Yes, but... Where is the door? You jump. Oh, right. I have to make it visible. But, are you sure you want to go back? I'm sure, sir. I don't know if I'd want to go back. This place seems pretty awesome. I don't have any parents. My kitty's with me. I mean, I could get some friends here and fucking be awesome. All right, here we go. Sure state a tree person. The human must leave. Open the secret door into her reality. That guy's gonna bust through and take over the entire universe. Let the human return home. Oh, wow. Oh, excuse me. Oh, wow. We are going home, kitty. <laughs> Hello. Oh, ho, ho. Zar, the king. Good day to you. I brought the stones so this lovely creature can go home. Thank you, sir. I'm very nervous. It will be strange to be far away from you all. Then don't leave. I can make you a place to stay. A very magical place. Wizard, she has to leave. I received a message from one of the Valokas. And she is not ready. Oh, I see. What are you talking about? Ready for what? Come on, wizard. Place the stones. We have no time to lose. But ready for what? You know what the Valakas told you about facing the truth. Ah, uh, yes, I think I remember. Well, should I? Yes, go ahead, wizard, sir. Magic stones create the lock that only the human can break. I feel like this magic is a little too simple for the stuff that we're doing. Well, now it's time for Fran to be the key. You're the only one who can open this now. 
Oh, wow. All right. Let's see. Oh. Oh, uh... Do I have to get them all facing the same direction? Okay, well, they're all facing the same direction. Do I have to get them to face each other? For fuck's sake, what the hell? Oh. God damn it. Okay. Which one do you have to face? Why do you keep switching back? Why do they all change each other? What the fuck? It's like the last one that I clicked. Goes back to normal. See? See, look. Doesn't matter which one I click. They all go back to normal. See? I don't get what I'm supposed to do. This is dumb. Sir, can you help me? <clears throat> I don't know how to do this. Can you give me a little clue or something? A little clue. Hmm. If you want to solve a mystery, the first thing you do is think with your head. Hmm. Alright, I'll try again then. Sir Wizard, it seems to be that I'm not the right key for this door. Could you please give me a hand? I'm lost. Oh, a hand. But you have two. That's enough. What do you mean, sir? Hmm. From head to foot, from foot to hand, and so on. We dance. We dance. What? Huh? Anyways, I'll keep trying. Um... Okay, we never finished reading this. Uh... Okay, that's the end. Okay, should we read this? I got a visit from my son, Brian. I told him about the things that I've seen. But he uh, didn't want to hear and left. I don't blame him. I understand that the reality presented before my eyes is invisible to most of the people. I wish I could find a friend just like me because my son, he thinks I'm insane. My body and mind are beginning to understand the pattern. Life becomes quite easy to control when you cut all social laws and only apply our reality laws because they are not only laws but also behaviors, chemical behaviors, natural laws. Without those behaviors, without those laws, we wouldn't exist. Sometimes I wish to be a leaf on the ground, calm, while dying. Last night, after the storm, a huge creature visited my garden for a few seconds and then disappeared. I found a strange bottle with a pink liquid inside in the same spot the creature landed. I can't fully understand the contents of the bottle. I have found red blood cells in it and, a, and bacteria not yet recognized. The bacteria seems to get rid of unusual behaviors in any kind of living creatures. I poured some of the pink liquid on a dr dying plant and it, it bloomed after a few minutes. I cut my finger to test the liquid with human tissue and it cured it after a few seconds. This bacteria may work as platelets and white blood cells but not, but at a very high speed. I dream of a thousand black cats surrounding my house, big yellow eyes staring at my sleep. Being an Ithursa are... Uh, beings are varied from roots to giant insects roots are the first in this reality insects came later I learned their language and numerology the great Valakus is the beginning of the first reality uh, primeve light the Valakus body structure is quite different from ours they made they're made out of photons and sound waves they're also both male and female when the youngsters reach age 299, 792, 5, 459, they are crowned with the shield. Oh. 299,792. Or no, 200. Fuck. College education. Here we go. 299,792,459 years old. Holy crap. Creation of the Great Valakus, King of Ithersta, Second Reality, Life. Being an Ithersta uh, feels like becoming what you can't understand on Earth. 
It's where leaves sing while falling off the tree and the water whispers in its wisdom while you drink it. Pandora, creation of the five realms and essential existence. Free. Uh, resides in the human world, third reality, Earth, Mars, and Jupiter. Conscious, consciousness, practice of will. Uh, sender seed. Steady. I don't know. The end of vibration, when both ends of the opposite are the same degree, resides in third and fourth reality, death. Mabuka is the end of light. Mother Mabuka is letting me go. I've spent 15 days here in Mabuka's den and I'm tired. I don't need to hide from pain anymore because it's part of me. It feels like love. It's, uh, it feels like love is everywhere and in everything. I enjoy crying. I enjoy laughing. I enjoy being alive. I'm getting ready for the journey back home. Mabuka sent me to this endless limits of Mabuka's den and I'm waiting for the Luciferns. I had to become friends with them or to be more precise, become one of them. Luciferns gather in filaments, that's why they look like they are growing hair. The big face is mostly for communication purposes and to scare their predators. I hope my body can survive the journey. Gravity collects particles to create uh, new ones. It's a creative force with collective or with creativity, evolution is inevitable. What's this? The drawing to the left looks like an antenna. Oh no, somebody ripped off the rest of the book. I'll never know what happened to Mr. Leon. Okay, does this have something to do with... The circle that we have. It shows red, then green, then yellow, then red, purple, black. I don't exactly know what that means. I don't think I really needed this stuff. See? What the fuck? Oh. Got him. I smell victory again. You did it, friend. You can go home now. I'm so excited. Oh, I wish I could leave you something so you can remember me. Oh, shit, that was her. We won't forget you. You are a very special creature. Um, oh, I almost forgot. Palantris gave me this for you. Oh. Oh, thank you. Tell Palantras that I wish I could help him with his wounds. I gave my aid patches to a girl in the hospital, but anyway, I'll tell him, and don't worry, Palantras is better now. Oh ho ho, before you go, you must know, before you return to your reality, you will go through the secret woods. The woods are a kind of invisible passage between our realities, and you may encounter terrible creatures that want to eat you, Just, but just run, they are quite slow. And you're telling me this now? Huh, that sounds very scary. Don't worry, you'll do fine. Heh, <laughs> I hope so. Well, Mr. Midnight, say goodbye. Let's go now. Oh shit, that was me. Goodbye, gentlemen. I had a great time. I I like you very much. Goodbye. Bye, bitches. Let's fucking go. Yeah, sorry this video is going up so late. It's currently 1.21 a.m. while I'm recording this. Oh, shit. Wait, what was I supposed to do? Am I supposed to know? Oh, oh. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Oh, hell yeah. Run, Fran. Wachoo, wachoo, wachoo. Oh no, I jumped straight in the hole. Woo! Damn it, why do I have to redo this whole thing? I like the art style of this part, it's pretty cool. 
A woo. And a woo. Jump on top of this. Jump over. Oh, that was close. Woo! My gosh, that was close again. I keep thinking that I could jump on those black things. We can do this, Fran. Franbo is the greatest human being alive. Uh oh. A door. A troll! Run! Achievement unlocked. Ooh, chapter four, part one. My imaginary friend. Oh. Shit's like Alice in the Wonderland. Hi. My goodness, the door opened. Wow. Interesting. Come on, Mr. Midnight. Let's find out where we are. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, Fran, I hope we can find home soon. I'm starving. Mr. Midnight, look, I think we're on the other side of the bridge. Do you remember the one we tried to cross before we fell into Ithersta? Yes, I remember. Great. Let's keep on going, Kitty. We have to be careful now. Uh, are these my pills? Wow. Where are they going? I wonder how long it took for this tree to grow. Pills. Oh, it's on a string. Home. I guess home is in that direction. You dumb bitch. These holly berries? Mmm, delicious berries. No, I don't know. Pills? Don't move! Ugh! I want you to show me... The way back home. Oh, this tree looks uh, perfect to but a little tree house on. How lovely. How lovely! Bitch, it's on a string. Ah, for fuck's sake. Oh no, I shouldn't have touched the pills. Bad, Fran. Bad, bad. Bitch, I got a mole fucking knife. Oh my god. Her face is scary. What do you want? Bren, you're a red- Wait, what should his voice be? I feel like it should be, like, cunning. Bren, you're already here. Well, I wasn't expecting you until 2.35. And as I see it, you are not trapped anymore. Interesting. Anyway, let me introduce myself. I am Itward, your faithful friend. Itward, do I know you from somewhere? You seem familiar. Yes, I am the creature of the night. We've been playing together. I helped you to get Mr. Midnight back, you see. Really? Huh. I think I managed quite well to find my kitty on my own. Hey, aren't you the one that made the sisters mad? No, it wasn't me making the sisters mad. They believed it was me. You see. But that is because they never looked into themselves. What do you mean by they never looked into themselves? They blamed me instead of facing the fact their parents never loved them. But let's stop talking about the sisters, shall we? Don't you recognize me, dear friend? The long man with the top hat. I always came by at night and told you stories when you were just a little baby. I came to you after you imagined me, but I am not imaginary, you see. I am part of your reality. Did I imagine you? You look quite familiar, yes. I can't deny that. I exist because you exist. The truth is that. You were able to imagine me because I already existed. Anyway, we don't have time to talk about this right now. Actually, I'm here to take you home. Follow me. Why should I, sir? I can't just trust you. I won't hurt you. I'm not made out of darkness. I am your friend. Then why are you hiding? Hmm, alright. You seem nice. I'll go with you, but I won't trust you yet. That's fine. Come on now. I have something to show you. That's what pedophiles say. You're very lanky. Your teeth are scary. The hell is this? Behold! The Itward flying machine. What do you think? It's alright, but can it really fly? Yes! 
for this gorgeous piece of machinery. I'll take you home. We'll fly as soon as I fix the details. Besides, it's not 235 yet. That sounds great, but what is it about 235, sir? I don't understand. When it become when the time becomes slower, and that gives us a chance to enter the ultra reality. Inside the ultra reality, we can travel wherever we want to go. Right now, we are standing on the endless limits of the second reality, but you are part of the third reality. Do you understand? Yes, I do understand. It sounds insane. But sir, should I just wait until you are done fixing the machine? Wait? Of course not. You can help by getting water and fireberries, alright? Alright, it's better to do something than nothing at all, I guess. Great, here is my amazing handmade bucket for the water. I made it myself. Okay. Ah, and the fire berries. You'll realize which berries to pick up because of the fire. Alright, but sir, can I just ask, why do you need berries and the water? Ah, well the berries are incredibly good fuel. They last many, many hours. And the water is to get rid of the dirt. The camelos. Oh, Camelos! I see. I hope they don't come around uh, the flying machine. We never know, but we do know that they don't like water. Yes? Oh, darling, I almost forgot your medicine. You need it. Some things are still invisible to your eyes, you see. Here. Excuse me! Invisible to my eyes? Hmm. I see. Well, thank you. I was trying to catch the pills earlier, but the trap caught me first. Oh yes, about that. I am sorry. I need to get your attention somehow. It's okay, sir. I defeated the trap, like in the second one. Like in one second, sorry. Anyway, I'll go get the fireberries and water. I'll be right back. Great. Great. I'll be preparing the machine. Okay, pills. delicious berries wow so much hair and so shiny okay let's go this way I'm just not even going to address whatever those things were fireberries oh the berries are on fire it has to be the fireberries I can't reach them from here just my luck get out get out you are trespassing on my territory huh excuse me I thought you were dead how can you possibly think that? You have no manners, young lady. I'm very sorry, but you seem to be all rotten and bloody. Me? Rotten and bloody? I think you are misunderstanding the situation. Why do you say that, Mr. Moose? <laughs> Mr. Moose? I am not a moose. I am a deadly worm. Really? A deadly worm? Excuse me, a deadly worm? No, no, not a deadly worm. A deadly worm. I don't go around killing creatures. I just give back to the soil that creatures took from it and don't need anymore. But I only see a talking moose. Where are you? Oh. Down here, creature. Can't you see me? Oh, there you are. You're so tiny. Hello, my name is Fran. Hello, Fran. Can I ask, why did you touch the moose in the first place? Normally, only scavengers would touch the animals. Are you one? No, of course not. I was trying to see if I could climb on it to reach the fireberries. I see. I think it is possible. The moose is still very sturdy and solid, but the fireberries are on fire. You can hurt yourself. Yes, I see the fire, but I have to take them somehow. Good luck with that. Climb on now. I'll keep working. Thank you, sir. Can't take the fireberries. They are on fire. Um examine. Why do my palantros give me this? I can't open it. Hmm. Well, let's get down and get the water first. Oh. Oh, wait a second. Where am I supposed to get the water? Hmm. Hello. Are those tiny insects that get stuck in the trees? Uh, are you those shiny insects that get stuck on trees be at it because of curiosity? We usually... We usually get stuck, yes. How do you know this? You are not one of us. I met some of your kind before. I helped them get free from curiosity. Ah, oh, that's very nice of you. Curiosity can lead us to unexpected situations. 
Yes, I think curiosity is a good thing, but are you stuck? Not at all. We are just trying to make our hair the longest hair ever. Wow, that sounds amazing. Good luck. I have to go now. Bye. Bye, bitch. Okay. Where is water? What if I climb on this? Get out, scavengers. It's me, sir. Can I climb on the moose again? Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Wow, so much hair and so shiny. Okay. I can't just pull them off with my hands. They are firmly attached. Okay, what if I use this? There we go. So smart. Yay. Um, okay. Okay, climb down. Hell yeah. How come those ones are the only ones on fire and not those ones? Okay, I need to search for... Wata? What's over here? Uh, I feel like a magical road of hair. Why... Why can't I go over here? Hmm, delicious berries. I don't think these berries are on fire. They're regular berries. Am I nutritious? Am I nutritious? I bet I am. Tasty flesh. Ew, I look completely deformed. I wonder if this friend is really me, but from some other place. You wear the calamus, aren't you? Can you talk? Hello? Hmm. Um, okay. I don't know where the waters are. Did you find the fireberries in the water already? We need them for the journey back home. Um. Oh, a mechanical bird. This is grand. Hmm, I wonder what this lever does. Up and down. I don't know where to get the water. Zifik. Can I go back there? Hell, well, I don't want to go there. Oh, there's the water. This is very odd. When we fell into Etherstead, there was no water. I wonder if we really fell. Maybe we fell upside down. Maybe the magic door into Etherstead is underwater. This is very odd. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, no, I can't reach the water from here. Water. Uh, oh, fuck. Uh, I wonder if we could borrow some of that thing's hair. Uh, we're not stuck. Leave us alone. We're trying to grow our hair and make it beautiful. Can I cut some off? Hmm, even if it works, I don't know for what purpose. For the freaking water, bitch! This is very odd when we felt... Okay, I guess let's go talk to Itward again. And see what he has to say. Do you have any string? Did you find the fireberries in water already? We need them for the journey back home. Well, for fuck's sake. Um, 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 um. I'm clever enough to find another solution. Um... I am confused. I'm obviously supposed to take the hair, but I don't know what to do with it. Um... For fuck's sake. We're not stuck. Leave us alone. We're trying to grow your hair and make it beautiful. Okay, I understand that I'm burning your hair. Okay. 
What if I do it with this? God damn it. Okay. Well, I'm gonna have to end the episode there. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked, please leave a like. And if you want to see more in the future, make sure you subscribe. I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.